Today we'll learn how to insert a node in a linked list. Inserting a node in a linked list can be done in two ways. Firstly, we can insert at the beginning of the list or we can insert the node at the end of the list. Let us start by understanding how we will insert a node at the beginning of a linked list. Let's say we have a linked list with two nodes with value 2 and 3 respectively and a head pointer pointing to the first node. And we want to insert a new node with value 1 in the beginning of the linked list. So we create a new node using the new operator and return its address into the pointer ptr. Let's say the address is 200. Now we store 1 in the data part of this node. Now the next thing we need to do is point our newly created node to the node containing the value 2. To do this we can make use of the head pointer as the head pointer contains the address of the node containing value 2 which is the starting of our linked list. So we can make use of the simple statement ptr link equal to head which is we are copying the value in head to the link part of our newly created node. Thus the link part contains the value 100 which is the address of the node containing value 2. Hence our newly created node is pointing to the node containing value 2. Now the last thing that we need to do is point the head pointer to our newly created node as it will now be the starting of our linked list. To do this we equate head equal to ptr which copies the value 200 in head which is the starting address of our newly created node. Thus head is now pointing to our newly created node which is now the starting of our linked list. Therefore, we have successfully inserted a node at the beginning of our linked list. Now let's quickly write the code using C++. Remember this was the basic structure of our node. Now we make a function which takes integer d as argument which is the data to be copied in the data part of our node. We create a new node using the new operator and return its starting address to the pointer ptr. We copy the value d in the data part for our example, the value is 1. Next, we store the value in the head in the link part of our newly created node. And finally, we equate head pointer to ptr, thus pointing the head pointer to our newly created node, which will now be the starting of our linked list. And we are done with our program to insert a node at the beginning of a list. Now, let's see how we will insert an element at the end of our linked list. Suppose we have a list with these nodes containing values 1, 2 and 3 respectively and we want to insert a node with value 4 at the end of this linked list. So we create a new node using the new operator and return its address in pointer ptr. Let's say the address is 600. Now we put the value 4 in the data section of this node and we put null in the link part of this node as this will now be the end of our linked list thus the link part will contain null. Now the only thing we need to do is point the node containing value 3 to our newly created node. But we can't do it directly. For this we need to traverse our linked list from the starting and reach the node containing value 3. To do this we make use of a temporary pointer temp and we equate it to head thus it is now pointing to the starting of the linked list. Now we need to traverse the linked list. To do this we move temp to the next node until we get a null in the link part of that node. Thus temp will move to the second node then it will move to the third node and now there is null in the link part of this node thus our loop will stop. Now the final thing that we need to do is point the link part of this node to a newly created node. We do this by equating the link part of this node to ptr. Thus it copies the value 600 in the link part and now our third node is pointing to the newly created node which contains value 4 and is now the end of the linked list. Therefore we have successfully inserted an element at the end of our linked list. Now let's implement this using C++. This is the basic structure of our node. We start our function which takes an argument d which is the value to be copied in the data part of the new node. We create a new node using the new operator and return its starting address to the pointer ptr. Now we copy the value d in the data part of our newly created node. 
which is 4 in our case. Next, we put null in the link part of our newly created node. Now we need to check a condition. If our head is null, that means our linked list is empty. Then we are creating the first node and inserting it in the linked list. Thus, we'll point the head pointer to our newly created node as it will be the first node in the linked list. But in our case, the list is not empty. So we take a temporary pointer and we equate it to head. Next, we traverse the linked list until we reach the element whose link part is null. Now we point the link part of this node to our newly created node and we are done with our program. I have linked the code in the description and thank you for watching the video.